Good evening. We're here at the six dollar off, and we uh, just paired. We're just uh, attempting to pair up uh, another pair of uh, homers. A partner of mine has some offspring from these two pairs. It's funny. I I put uh, four of their babies in the the King Lose auction early February, and the four birds end up end up down to two. But the the two that survive, they're in the uh, they're in the top of the, the club and combine sheets. They're coming in between one and twenty. Their offspring are doing very well in the club and combine rankings. And it's funny, I don't have any of the offspring for myself, so I figured I'd be smart. I see the they've produced, you know, two out of four, and they're coming in the top of the of the list. This blue checker here is a nest mate of Bobby Waters' birds from last year, which her nest mate came in first place in the 300 mile race last year in the young bird season. So she's coming from a, a good line of proven birds from uh, Bobby Waters, the president of the New Rochelle Club. I got her from, from Bobby and the the blue bar is coming from a very big loft. This was a gift that a, a friend of mine hooked me up with, uh, blessed me with. A uh, nice blue bar coming on out of a big loft. And uh, we're doing well with these uh, with this strain. My friend, my, my partner's doing well, Bobby. He's doing very well. And uh, we're going to get back to work. We're going to breed up some more, more offspring from these birds and see if we can... Uh, keep our program going and utilize these late hatch birds for for next year as far as you know for our breeding program and uh, use them for stock and uh, see what we can get from them and uh, keep our family lines uh, tight keep them strong I'm actually gonna take this blue cock and I'm gonna build a, a individual box for him and two hens because uh, his offspring have been producing, uh, his birds have been clocking, and uh, we, you know, we're doing well. I got another cock, uh, a, a, blue, a, blue checker, a blue checker splash, I'm going to do the same with him. Just acknowledging what we, what we have based on the resources that we have and trying to put the right birds together based off of, you know, race results and uh, breed, inbreed, line breed them and uh, try to keep our program strong, try to keep our birds healthy and strong, and just stay on top of uh, their performance. I think at the end of the day, it's important to look at the lines, where the birds are coming from, and then look at the performance, and then be stringent on, you know, which ones to keep. You know, keep your, I'm gonna keep my bird selection tight and, and move forward. You know, we're small, so we can't keep a whole bunch of birds, but when we do, we're going to try to keep only the best. Six dollars off.